I was amazed that the word hack was allowed. What is this? Who's managed to get the word hack? And what's it about? Making films, non-linear experiences, etc. So I got interested. It's like going to Disneyland in a way. <laughs> for a storyteller, for a scientist, for a designer, I think it's like, like the, one of the best solutions that Tribeca and CERN could arrange in order to make this event. We walk close to the biggest man-made machine, the Large Hadron Collider. We are in the midst of some of the brightest minds of our time. It's all very humbling. Welcome to Tribeca Hack Story Matter. I'm Mike, I'm from Toronto. My name is Peter, I'm, uh, I'm from Finland. My background is in web technologies. I study chemistry and biochemistry. Electrical engineering for school, so I have a little bit of hardware design there. I'm fiction, documentary. Theoretical biology. The cinematography. I build myself as an artist engineer. You are going to do something that will show that there's a real value to combining the creative arts with the science that we do here. We purposely did not tell you exactly what to create because we didn't want to limit you. And this is the first time in our memory that a scientist, a storyteller, a technologist, designer, black boxes have been on the same team. What we need from you is your scientific elements to be defined, your story arch to be defined, and your platform to be defined. It's hard, I'm not gonna lie, but you have three hours to do it. It doesn't necessarily have to be about evolution, it could be. It actually would probably be cooler if it was about evolution and the story structure used yeah. that model to construct the story. Something is starting, no more internet. Okay, I'm going out and the story is starting. We had this idea that life throws this sort of curveball at you. You think you're on a certain road and then suddenly something else happens. So we wanted to kind of get that metaphorically in a shop. So filming the road, getting the amazing view and vista. You're gonna film the guy who's running the experiment. German physicist Michael Dozer. There is a magnetic field on, just that you know that, yeah. So his credit cards are, are toast. I just came back from the visit of DLHC and I'm checking what uh, Sebastian has done in the meantime. So this is going to be the animated name of our game. I'm feeling a little bit stressed by how quickly time flows, but it's going to be good. To get story elements into the science without spoiling the science and the other way around, that's been the hardest thing. Working with storytellers in this way allows you to make your scientific story more accessible to a wider audience. So you're taking what can sometimes be cold science and you're giving it life and making it exciting. Science is often not presented in a, in a way that's thought of as, as poetic or, or inspiring, so hopefully that's, that's what we're trying to do with this. We're focusing on the concept of emergence, biological emergence, psychological emergence. We have uh, four stories that will be triggered by uh, people's action in space. And we've, we've come a long way from yesterday when we didn't know what was going on. So. We have to aim to a common goal, even though we have very different ways of thinking about it or approaching the solution. We have to make, make sure that we understand each other and that's not always the case. Just to give you a small example, they communicate by email when they are in the same room. It's, I don't even check my email, but we are making progress on this, so. Uh, tension, overwhelm -tion. Oh, you know, I could actually put, yeah, two, two viruses. Yes. I thought you said you weren't a computer person. <laughs> um, I'm not. I know, I know, I don't know how to do these things. I just know what you have to do. No, that's great. <laughs> Once you connect, you receive a fragment. Once you have all the fragments, you can watch the whole video. And we are on track, I guess, to have a good demo tomorrow. Okay, that's fantastic. The new intro is fantastic. <laughs> 
think we're gonna have it done in the next hour or so, the very last implementation, but then we'll have to see how it fits into the space. Okay, let's figure this out now. You're gonna see that they have really put together some amazing stuff over the course of these five days. We finished with staging like 12 minutes after the deadline, so I'm really relieved we're done. We're kind of hoping we're not, we might even put it out, out in, in open source. There's like the visual ingredients that would come together in the final app. So we're I had no idea no, whether it like was going to come together, and it did. That's kind of like the round yeah, This is a great experience, and I, I just want to sit, sit here and wonder where the next one is. We filled all the objectives, the product is working, people apparently are loving it. See you next time, next hackathon.